اٹارنی جنرل نے کہا ہے کہ سپریم کورٹ کے پاس شوکت عزیز صدیقی کیس میں فیصلہ کرنے کا مکمل اختیار ہے اٹارنی جنرل نے مزید کہا ہے کہ شوکت عزیز صدیقی کو بغیر انکواری ہٹانا تیشدہ قانونی تقاضوں کے منافی ہے got called on uh, short I, notice I, I, but i, I can know, I know. That's I, not but, fair, but, but i can what i can state here is that uh, now there are certain allegations which are made in this petition and those allegations from what i have understood uh, while sitting here serious have been denied allegation. not some the, minor allegations some serious allegations those allegations have been denied and now obviously this court cannot uh, record evidence this is not the forum for doing it uh, if Is there a solution? The solution, my lord, is that uh, in order to do to 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 look at the entire matter in totality, if Afia Zia is overturned and uh, this matter is uh, remanded to the order of the Supreme Judicial Council is set aside and the matter is remanded to Supreme Judicial Council, then as far as the inquiry of these allegations is concerned, uh, that perhaps is the only form. And then question uh, arises that the man has retired. What will happen? So for that purpose, you have to overturn Ar Afia Sherbanu Zia. For that purpose, for those purposes, you have to first... The, this court has to overturn Afia Sherbanu Zia in order to cross that barrier and then go to this the... Case, this case is slightly different. He was not retired at that time. That, that's right. Service. That's right. That's right. He was still before the court. Now, the question would still be that if the petition is allowed, what could be the consequence? Now, if... In, ریٹائرڈ جج اینڈ دس اینٹائٹل ٹو آل دا بینیفٹ ویچ آر ریٹائرڈ جج از اینٹائٹل